Hello, hello, hello dreamers and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So Virgo, this is your um, weekly check-in. Um, there is... Uh, there's something that you're torturing yourself with, Virgo. Um, whether it is a project that you're working on that is not going the way that you want it, um, whether it's somebody from your past, whether relationship, like love relationship, work relationship, friendship, whatever. There's something that ended, that ended a while ago. Um, and you're being asked to release, right? To release, to release, to release, let go, let go. Who cares what they're doing? Who cares what they're doing? Who cares what they're doing? Focus on what it is that you're doing. So it's almost like you're self-torturing yourself, worrying about what someone else is doing. Again, guys, these are general readings. So whether it is you or the person around you, whatever it is, take it as how it applies. But there is a sense here, Virgos, where you need to release something. Something that is torturing you, something that is keeping you up at night, something that is making you go crazy. Um, you're, if you know, if this is an ex, it's like you're asking around whether they're with a new person or etc. It's like you're almost spying on this person. And it's like, you, you need to stop, right? Um, again, um, Virgos, this can be somebody doing this towards you, right? Somebody spying and somebody's torturing themselves, wondering what it is the Virgo is doing. Um, Virgo, your focus literally, like, you have so many little projects, let's put it this way, that you guys have started, that you guys need to see to the end. So your focus should be on that. This this distraction of torturing yourself um, over someone or something that needed to be released, over something or someone that ended, um, a situation that ended, that, that needs to be put behind you and you need to keep on moving forward. Um, there, there's nothing that is going to save that connection. Again, whether romantic or platonic, there's nothing that is going to get things back to how they were. So your focus should be on what it is that it, what is in front of you and what it is that you can allow and you can actually kind of like invest your time and your energy into it so that you can see it grow so that you can see it flourish. Because if you continue to spend time or energy on the things from the past, what is in front of you is not growing. What is in front of you is not flourishing, right? And then it's like you're almost at a point where you're so upset over what is torturing you from the past that when you're working or you're trying to work on the things from the now you're bringing in kind of like that resentment or that anger where you don't even want to work right it's like you know you may have always said well i've always wanted to do this right and it's like now you're in the opportunity or you have the chance to do what you always wanted to do but now you're angry that you gotta do it right <laughs> Because you're still worrying about something from the past. I hope that makes sense, right? It, it, it's kind of like, okay, I like doing readings, right? So now that I have the opportunity, I have the platform, I have the time, I have the this. It's like, I'm going to be upset because I'm worrying about someone or something from the past. And because the doing the readings, let's put it this way. This is just an example, guys, right? Me doing the readings is taking my time away from torturing myself based on something from the past. How does that make sense, Virgo? As an earth sign, as a logical person, as somebody that you, you got it there, right, Virgo? Doesn't make sense, right? So stop doing that to yourself because again, the whatever it is that you have in front of you, whatever it is that you have been working on, whatever it is that you do, right, is there because it's what is helping you build your future, is what is helping you build your next, you know, you're getting you to your next level, not the torturing yourself with something from the past. So it's like you guys are almost mad at what it is that is in your life present right because it's stopping you or it's kind of forcing you to stop yourself from torturing yourself from something from the past like it doesn't make sense right it doesn't make sense when i'm saying it and i'm pretty sure it doesn't make sense to you so then look at your situation in that way so that you can release it and you can keep moving forward okay so we have the sorcerer in the reverse the high priest the priestess of dream in the upright the spirit of swords in the upright so there there is again with the sorcerer energy it's like trying to re just trying to bring something to life right or or trying to keep control or trying to keep a hold or something from the past something that needs to be released whether again it's a person situation um an attachment anything right um maybe there is somebody that you used to um be friends with something you somebody used to work with and now you're not working with them anymore and it's upsetting you maybe it is that uh, you were in a relationship with somebody else and now they're moving on 
done with someone else and it's upsetting you and you don't want to let go of the connection of the connection that you two had with the priestess of dream and the spirit of swords is again this thing right this person this situation was removed because the two of you were going in different directions your path were taking you in different ways right different path different journeys so this whatever this is for you is served as purpose Virgo so you need to move forward right you need to allow spirit to cut off whatever it is that is not serving you right because you have been shown that this is not for you right this is not for you let it go so now let's focus on what we do have let's focus on what we have at the moment what we have on hand and let's move forward right even if you can't see exactly where it is that you're headed you have to trust and you have to have faith that the new direction the new that you're going into is what's going to work best for you Virgo well, Virgos, that is all that I have for you for this week. As always, guys, thank you for all the love and support. If you would like a private reading, the information to my website is down below in the description, as well as a link to Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon. I do post dailies on all three platforms, so go ahead and join me. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Mwah. Virgos, stop torturing yourself, love. Love you guys. Bye.